May 2007. Okay, come, let's have a wave first. How old is he? You don't know. No. The doctor but it was. Looks quite it was a bit 36. Yeah. Okay, wait, put it back there. Quick, put it back first in case it jumps off. Yeah. Put it back in, inside first. You, how long you have this? Two weeks. They call it the mouse or? The mouse. It looks very young. Uh. It's probably a pet rat, you know? Uh, they actually call it a uh, Tampanese flag. They have over three direct mouths in that. Oh, okay, okay. So. Is somebody's pet rat? It, yeah, they hmm. had three, then it multiplied. Okay, then they it? couldn't take care of it. Where's the tumor? Do you say there's a tumor? Uh, it's just put it below. Uh, just, just hold it. Uh, it bites you or not? No. No, no. Uh, but don't bring it up. Or, or put it over here, over here better. In case it jumps off the. Well, you call it, it jumps off. Huh? No, you just put it below. So, where, where is the? Should I just that? take it out? Yeah, but so below. Uh, don't don't okay. take it entirely hundred percent out. In case it jumps off the table, it's happened before. Unless you know how to. It's quite nervous. Huh? Yeah. Oh, there. Yeah. Mm, just hold first. Huh? Yeah. But you don't know the age, right? No. Have you seen the parents? No. Have you seen the parents? Yeah. They, uh, it was just a, a big tank with a lot of mice in it. Hold, hold. Okay. I just hold like that. Huh? It's quite nervous. Huh? Have you seen it already? It's, it's a tumor. But the only thing you don't know how old. Okay, so there, there are two options. Huh? One is, of course, the surgery and uh, that is probably the only option. The other option is the antibiotics. Uh. Antibiotics? Yeah. I mean if it's an infection. How long were you this long? It wasn't there when we picked it up from the shelter. Oh, so it's a recent or maybe we didn't notice. How long was it you, you had this? Two weeks. Two, Two weeks. weeks uh. okay. So I think we have to put an anesthetic and then uh, check okay. and then remove it. If it's abscess, then we will just, just drain the, the pass off. So basically it's still under anesthetic. Uh. So there's a risk of anesthesia uh, of death on anesthetic. Uh. So you have to be aware of the risk. Uh. Because not every surgery can be, not, not every anesthesia is 100%. Okay, this is a uh, 27 May 2007. This is a pet mouse. It's called Mus Musculus. Uh. It's supposed to be a dog. Okay. Is it called pet mouse or what, what do you call them? Call common name. The common name. Mouse. Mouse only. Uh. Okay, you hope you hope at the scrub. Uh, if, you, if you need to scrub it, then we just see below. Yeah. You know, then I just go under and guess, and then uh, then no need to stress out. Okay, uh, just a bit. Go by the tail, and not yeah, the tail. Turn, turn a bit now. Okay, steady. You know. About one point five cm lump. On the right, this is the left, the right side, yeah. inguinal area. Okay, yeah. it's been licking it. The best is not to, to handle the mouse, but just use, just, just slowly put it in because of the stress, yeah. the stress factor. Yeah. Slowly. Patiently, uh, patiently there. Eh? The tail, eh? the tail is very long. Eh? Be careful the tail. Eh? Okay, it's in. Then, uh, the anesthetic record. Just uh, go under the filling gas. Switch on first. Go under 5%. Eh? 
high flow rate on the closed circuit oxygen generator record time record the time of the gas so 10 to 8 am Saturday May today 26 right? 27 to 017 so basically we will check whether it is an abscess because there are other two two mice adopted by the same owner or it's a tumor because this this is a pet mouse or a mouse which is very rarely kept in Singapore. Okay check see whether it's still moving and uh, so we we have to have an examination first here. Yeah. Not down yet. Not normally about five minutes of isofluorine gas. And here we have the gas. Well, it's definitely a subcutaneous lump. Let's feel the nodules. Nodules are there. Okay, some guess, but this is hundred percent, two percent, one percent. Maintain the one percent. Ten to eight. Now it's ten fifty-eight. The end of surgery. Now you can see it takes about thirty minutes. Thirty minutes to do this surgery, which normally in in a dog or cat might take half fifteen minutes to do. But because of this anesthesia, you need to give minimum amount, but not too much otherwise you kill the rat kill the, the mouse so it needs a lot of observation and patience and uh, so I did give a bit of gelatin to uh, sedate it but it wasn't very effective but you can see now he's fully awake and the four stitches were there or below Four stitches were put. Four stitches were were placed after removal of the tumor, which looks very much like a hemangio sarcoma. You see, it's quite bloody. And uh, full of clots, full of blood clots. The best is sent for histology. And uh, later on, then we'll clean up the the, the mouse when he, he is fully awake. He's still not fully awake. This is uh, due to isofluorine gas plus a bit of zolotil premed premed. Still, we we'll let him recover slowly. Thing about this is that they give me the whatsapp but I need to take out the tumor, tumor which uh, is not a good news it's very very bad now okay. one, one times one cm times one cm times one cm subcutaneous tumor the mouse is expected to be about uh, one year old female. It's 12 noon now, and uh, we have a check on this uh, mouse. You can see she's uh, fully awake from anesthesia, and uh, there's no bleeding the right side. The lump has been removed and uh, I'm trying to hold it but it's, it's difficult to to catch catch her. Yeah. You can see she's quite active. In fact she can climb. She can climb
So overall, I told my assistant that uh, the anesthesia is is what what uh, affects the outcome, life and death of a surgery in the pet mouse of rat. If the anesthesia is not uh, properly or well monitored, you get a dead mouse and uh, they need a lot of patience of putting on, off, on, off isoflurane gas to ensure that the pet mouse doesn't inhale too much of it because there is a very low margin for error and the uh, owner of course not happy if your if her pet mouse is dead on the operating table so now we have the problem of having to clean the wounds that I let the owner do it it's very hard to uh, to uh, handle the, the mouse now the four stitches have been have been uh, given and uh, most likely she will bite off the stitches but we don't know the owner has to keep it clean the tumor was 1.5 cm long 1 cm wide and about 0.5 cm deep as you can see in the earlier part of the video